So we're coming back around to see Decal Machine and get reacquainted with it. Blender market sales are happening. Go check it out, link in the description, but kind of let's go through it. And uh, this is the scene that we've been working on on the live streams. Kind of let's now go ahead and add some extra details so using specifically Decal Machine. And I'm just gonna use the default library for now. However, we can always go back and create our own assets. So for instance, this wall here, kind of bland, press the D button, and then we've got access to a whole bunch of stuff that we can start adding. Uh, let's go something like that, hold G, and we can go control, and we can place it onto the walls, and then just start slapping these puppies around. You know, we can even put a warning sign, scale that up, oops, something like that. And even if we want to go down the screw route, we can always go ahead and start adding in some screws. Yeah, let's go with this one and bring it down there we go period key in just to zoom in a smidgen we can see that the faces are overlapping ever so slightly so if we grab the four of them one we've always got the option to press d and then we can adjust and we can just move it slow slightly out which way is out this way there we go. So when we go into material preview, it's not sitting on top. Let's go project again. There we go, that's a bit better. And now we've added in those extra little details. I mean, obviously we've got these little bolts in, so maybe they're not the place to go. However, on the floor should look a lot better. So let me quickly slap some of these on. Let's go ahead and add in some extra decals along the bottom here. Cool, that's looking pretty good already. If I can actually view it, awesome. And then we can even put on, yeah, another one of these. Just a nice big warning sign. Now if we go into rendered mode, let's just have a look what it looks like. Not too sure about that one there. Nah, that doesn't deserve to be there. Need to be able to give that a little bit more of a grungy texture. Now the cool thing is there's plenty of libraries out there. Um, however, you can always go ahead and create your own. And so if we kind of like put a bit of a comparison, let's go into rendered view. Although it's tiny little details, which is exactly what we're after, it's coming along nicely. You know what it does need though? It needs some sort of like leaky material. Oh, that looks gorgeous. And I mean, even very briefly, you can see how we've filled up that space and definitely the big contrast between just, you know, adding some extra little screws, some extra decals. I think that might be a little bit too much, but the things up here on the walls, you can see how much is kind of like already added to the scene. Now, Decal Machine has had a big update, so it fits in better with Blender 4.2. Um, I will be doing a more in-depth tutorial on this coming up soonish, but 12,000 people have already bought this on Blender Market, so you know it's a good add-on.